New here at three earlier this month, we told you about a group of students from Strawberry Crest High School who were in the running for a national STEM award from Samsung. They were among 10 schools from across the country to travel to the nation's capital and pitch their inventions. And we're happy to report here they won. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has the recap. Well, when these students return from Washington, D.C., they have balloons and banners waiting for them in the classroom. Winning this national competition is truly going to make an impact on the entire high school for years to come. The first national winner goes to Strawberry Crest High School from Florida. We were holding hands at the table and we all looked at each other and all of the other teams. It was a great moment. From giving high fives to wiping away tears being recognized as a winner and the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow competition will be a day these students never forget. We were very surprised. I mean, we knew our project was good, but there were a lot of good uh, schools there. The Samsung CEO was there. We shook his hand and it was, it was really cool to stand on that stage and accept that award. All the connections that we made, the people that we got to talk to, the things that we got to see because of Samsung, it was really beautiful. They call the award-winning device the Human Health Band. It monitors an athlete's temperature while they are playing. And if they start to overheat, an alert is immediately sent to the coach or trainer's phone. It makes you feel very happy that like we became part of this team. We were part of this effort that uh, has the potential of saving lives and preventing heat related illnesses because this is a real issue in our society that needed to be addressed. We sacrificed a lot to be able to do this and uh, there was a lot of hard work that went into it and especially from our seniors. The students say the support they received from their classmates and teachers throughout this journey has been amazing. Our phones were blowing up. We um. All of our classmates and uh, teachers were texting us and congratulating us. And they were so, like, so proud of us. We heard that teachers were crying and our parents yeah. were so happy for us. So it was awesome. And they not only brought home a trophy, but $100,000 in total prize money. We didn't win just for us and our team. We won for our school because the money goes to everyone here. Wow, what an awesome story. Robert joins us now. Robert, we are so happy to see they won. When I you predicted it. I yeah, thought so. I did. thought so. You can go back in the tapes. <laughs> so they won a lot of money. What are they going to do with that money? Well, first of all, everyone wants to be their best friend at Strawberry Crest. Everyone's like, hey, can we have some money for our program or for our club? So, uh, but $100,000 can go a long way. First of all, they want to continue to develop the human health band. They have to make it a little bit smaller. They have to do a little bit more work on it. But overall, they are still optimistic they can market it, sell it, and make this into an actual product that will save lives. So that's how we're going to spend some of the money. And they also want to put some of that money into a new technology club. And that way more students can get involved in these STEM programs and get in STEM and then hopefully come back again next year and win. That is awesome. <laughs> and really the future of this invention is making those tweaks that you were talking about? Exactly. They definitely feel that there's a future for this invention, but it's not ready yet. But they have to find the right people to kind of back them financially and market it and get it out there. But again, there's no reason to not to think that this won't become an actual invention that, again, can be used by athletes all over the country. Addressing a problem that's so prevalent and absolutely. To be. All right, Robert, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. your update there. All right, let's get a check of weather as we bring in meteorologist Shay Ryan and take a live.